the studio right now, I've got none other than the legends from Bedford. That's right, the number one band from Bedford right now. I've got the Wolves. Yeah! yeah. Good going, Darren? Good going, man. Uh, can I say what an absolute pleasure? I'm Adam. I'm the um, front man, songwriter. I play guitar. Um, Arthur or Arthur or Tawny or various other names. I play guitar and vocals. Uh, Rich stuff. Joe and uh, just out and out bass and a little bit of backing as well. Awesome. Uh, if they let me. <laughs> I'm Danny and I uh, play the drums and a bit of bongos tonight. So it's really fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. So let's let's talk let's talk with the front man. Let's yes. talk about what I need you yes. to do is get right up close to that microphone for me. Okay. Talk into it like you're kissing it, yeah? Like Hello. That's all oh, flipping X. Hit back. Good, good. Hit back on the sound. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Swadam, tell me, what I'd like to know is, and a lot of people like to know, how does it feel to be a front man of a band? Mate, it feels good, mate. It's just the energy, I mean like the crowd just, you know, going nuts and you're up there with your own songs, with with your you know, bestest mates and stuff. It's Nothing better, really, to say the truth. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a buzz, mate. It's a buzz. Excellent. And now I've, I've had a little, I've had a little, uh, little story from a certain little dicky bad called um, Matty Crawley, who's okay, not actually yeah. with us. He skanks you guys. Yeah, he, turned he out, said he, he was coming. Yeah, he's been <laughs> ringing me up all week. Matty Crawley's like, yeah, I'm coming down to see the Wolves. The Wolves number one band. That's what I'm telling you. You got to book them up that week, <laughs> but, you know, and all that. Um, apparently, a couple of you guys were old MCs from back in the day. Is that a true comment? Yeah, that is a true comment, actually. Yeah, like the whole garage and grime scene. Uh, that was our generation. We used to love making beats, DJing, you know, sort of writing bars and stuff. Yeah. Know, about like sort of personal experiences or imaginary, just or just for jokes. You know what I mean? Just to, ent just to entertain the people and yeah, it's just for as a hobby, really. Isn't it? Uh, <laughs> right then, guys, we're going to be doing. You're going to be doing a live track for us now. Uh, what is the track you're going to be doing, and what's the story behind it? Uh, this track's called Emily, and um, I think everyone or most blokes have had an Emily in their life. It's one of them girls who, you know, middle of the night they come round. You know what I mean, drunk, causing you grief, so some people could relate to it, I think. Really? Yeah. Have you had an Emily come round knocking on your yeah, door? Yeah, she isn't called Emily, but um, yeah, I've had a couple of Emilys in my life. Have you? Yeah. Unbelievable. Unfortunately. Yeah, there's, there's nothing worse than an Emily. No. I live with one. Do you? <laughs> oh, oh, so that's, that's where it comes from. You're going out with her, she was knocking on his door, he's called you on the Mobilia. Joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. He weren't very happy. So right then, the guys are just going to quickly set themselves up so they are read, ready to sing the track, Emily. Um, I just must apologise to Adam, the front man there. You'll be able to see it on YouTube tomorrow. I've just smacked the microphone into his head. I don't think... And I've ruined his hair. Unfortunately, I have ruined his hair. Um, so right then, this is the track by the walls. This is Emily. Check it out. <laughs> She was a swine of a girl A pasta in New Mexico Ay, mommy She was crazy Crazy, I say Cheese. Oh, Emily, Emily, Emily Really, really gotta stop telling me Keep telling me, telling me, telling me Making no sense to me Emily, 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 really, really gotta stop telling me. Keep telling me and telling me and telling me. This thing it ain't meant to be. Your girl, what time you call this? You're walking up a mine in a state all pissed. Screaming down the road with niggas in a twist. That's the reason that your cool got missed. You're a nightmare. You've got the neighbours complaining. Standing in the cold outside when it's raining. Girl, you're really taking the mic now. I think it's time we had a little sit down. Oh, Emily, 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 really, really gotta stop telling me. Keep telling me and telling me and telling me. Making no sense to me So Emily, Emily, Emily Really, really gotta stop bailing me Keep telling me and telling me and telling me This thing it ain't meant to be uh oh, oh She started again and got kicked out of the pub By half past ten and now she's on the wall path Trying to get into the club but the doorman are telling her You're bored! Now it's just a matter of time before we hit the high heels Getting close to mine Ding dong! Oh god, she's back again Every Saturday night this keeps happening Emily, Emily, Emily Really, really gotta stop bailing me Telling me and telling me and telling me Making no sense to me So Emily, Emily, Emily Really, really gotta stop bailing me Keep telling me and telling me and telling me This thing ain't meant to be So you see, cabron Never ever trust a woman again She will be the death of you Aye. Up for the walls there with Emily. Woo! Absolutely.
cracking track there. <laughs> I love that, and I love the hip hop element to it. It's world exclusive. That one never, never before been played. Really? Yeah, it's so never, nice. never before been played. That yeah, one. I'll tell you what. There's a certain radio station down the road that never got that, but we did down here. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Happy days. Um, so, so, guys, then, do you do that with a lot of your tunes? Kind of incorporate your sort of like old school, um, sort of like the old school rave garage stuff, and bring it into your music as well. Uh, there's a couple, but it's um, yeah, a couple of tracks and more. Like faster lyrics and yeah, more like the MC and but uh, like the like, majority of them are a bit different. It's more sort of like melody to it. And yeah, it's not so fast. But, Wicked. Yeah, we'd love to go back to our roots. You know what I mean? Definitely. I've got to say a big thanks for sharing that with us. That was an awesome track, and uh, right. I hope you get that one recorded soon so I can replay it on the show very yeah, soon. Man, yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we do like to support our local bands. Now, guys, obviously you come from Bedford. You've got a massive fan, pay, uh, fan base in Bedford. I saw your uh, YouTube video when you played the Squires last gig of 2011, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How does it make you feel? And uh, this this is a question for all of you. So we'll, we'll go around the whole band. How does it make you feel knowing that loads of people come out on whatever day you're playing? They pay some they pay some money to get a ticket. They go to the bar. They they're buying drinks all because they want to see you. How does that make you feel? Makes you feel blessed, say truth, bro. You know what I mean? It's uh. Yeah, so so good. We've got the support we have in Bedford and like and the surrounding. Everyone can just have a good night, come out of some drinks, and just have a boogie, man. It's good to know that we can give that to the people. You know what I mean? Definitely. What about you, Arthur? How does it make you feel? Amazing, man. Good vibes. Just feel the energy of the people. People feed off us. We got we get up there and just have a good time. We pretty much we call ourselves like we're like a original rock and roll band. We urban influence, indie influence, and it just all comes together and we just buzz on stage and hopefully that comes out. It looks like everyone buzzes off it as well, so. Wicked. Baseman Joe. It's beautiful that, um, that people just want to come out together, they know they're going to have a good time. And to get on stage and just to be able to do something that we love when we're in a room together and we, we're writing these tracks, it's just purely because we love doing it and it's just what comes out naturally. And the fact that people feel it and dig it and just want to be there and be a part of it is it's just incredible, man. They're beautiful people and, uh, and it's, it's just good fun. Really Wicked. Good. And Danny. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Same as uh, I've said. Uh, basically, just to like have all the people come there, watch us, gives you such a good feeling playing out to them on the stage and hoping that everyone's having a great time. So it's brilliant. Love it. Happy days. Now, Dino, let's get Dino back in. Dino, come over here. Grab yeah. this microphone over here. Now, what it is, you've got a killer I'm question. Back. Hang on, don't take it away from me. Watch my breath, by the way. I've, I've yeah, not been very well. Uh, basically, you've got a killer question. You've got one question and one question only that you can ask band. You did tell it to me earlier. And I oh, think yeah. it's a cracking question. It's right. one of the ones I would normally say. Get to the microphone, <laughs> ask the question. Guys, what is a wall? <laughs> oh. Is it, is it, see, see we're, we're Sly Dog. Yeah. So it's a dog. Yeah. Okay. Right, I have this argument with my singer all the time. He thinks you're hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think you're a gerbil. So, <laughs> prove us wrong. Now, I, I had a theory as well. Okay, I hope that <laughs> I understand. I don't offend anyone. Now, I thought that maybe you guys are fans of Jonathan Ross. And that he was talking about that he likes a well. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 yeah. He goes yeah, to the yeah. sandwich shop, he doesn't get a sandwich, he prefers a well. So, <laughs> so, so do, do tell us, what is a well? Where did the name come from? How did it come about? And what is a well? Basically, um, <laughs> one, of our, uh, one of our close friends, he was a, in a parachute regiment and uh, he had another friend who um, managed to make it into the uh, SAS, um, so he's quite a traditional guy, and his name's uh, Walter Gearos, Chris Geary, his name got shortened to Walter, Walter, Wow, and in the end, this whole section of the army was going around saying Wow and stuff like that, and they made Wicked. it up. So, made up yeah. so now, guys, what it is, we're coming to near the end of the show, so what I'd like you guys to do is plug yourselves, I'm going to give you exactly two minutes to plug your website, every single social medium you're on, and to give any shout outs that you want to do to any of your fans, but make sure you kiss the mic. Alright, first of all, you can um, find us on Facebook, it's W-H-O-L-L-S, that's um, yeah, the walls, and you can see videos on YouTube, forward slash Limelight TV, so make sure you big check up that out. Yeah, big up Limelight TV. Um, big, big shout out to our sponsors. We couldn't do this without them. So massive shout out to Primo High Revs. They've looked after us massively. They got, you know, paid for us to get our EP done. So Joe and Enzo um, at Primo, 
a massive shout out to them. Also, just a wicked good luck to them. They've got their first race in the British Superbikes on Monday at Brands Hatch. So a massive um, like good luck to them. Hope they do really well. They've got a good British guy racing, Chris Chris Walker, the stalker. So any motorbike fans out there, watch out for Primo as well. And a big shout out to Zedo, uh, John Pecos and Rene Rain as well, who are all uh, getting involved as well. Zedo features on the last track on our EP, which is number 30, so we've got a feature with Zedo on that as well. Amazing MC from Bedford. All those things, Zedo's on Limelight TV as well. They're shooting some really good, brilliant live music uh, all around Bedford and the area around there, so Limelight's a great thing to go and, go, and, go and check out on YouTube, check out all of their footage, if you want to see some great acts all around here, including ourselves, and we're obviously on Facebook as well as, as, well as our website, which is thewalls.com. Which is uh, under construction, but will be up in the next few days. Oh, if you want to cool. get copies of the CD, uh, info at thewalls.com if you want to get a hold of any merch, anything like that. And uh, also, we've got, we've got our EP launch coming up at Esquires in Bedford. That's next Friday, 13th. Anyone that gets a ticket, big, 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 big show. We've got some wicked things coming up. You get a free copy of the EP because we want to give them out there to the people. Um, you can get tickets at Danny's Bar at Esquires. You can get them from We Got Tickets or cdicketstickets.com. That's next Friday, and tickets are selling out fast, people, like properly fast. So. Right, we're the Walls. You can catch us on Facebook, YouTube, um, Esquires on the 13th of April for our EP launch. And get yeah. one of these as well. Come to, come on the 13th. Back to the Beehive. Get one of these for free or the gig for free, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Six pound either way, you get in this and the gig in together. No brainer, man. Come and see us, man. Walls. And buy it. Done. Peace! Peace! <laughs>